In the last video tutorial, we wrote our first basic script in Selenium WebDriver with Java. We were able to launch a browser, navigate to URL, extract its title and close the browser. So from that video, you might have understanding that whatever browser you want to use, that browser should be installed on your machine. We tried Chrome and Edge. So you can see I have Google Chrome installed on my machine and if I go to help and about Google Chrome, you can see Google Chrome 118 version is installed on my machine. So Sany was able to launch this Chrome browser. But it is not mandatory for us to have Google Chrome installed on my machine to work with Selenium. So this is the script which we created last time and before I run it again, I want to add a sleep here so that I can show you some information about Google Chrome. So let me add three dot sleep of 30 seconds and this statement I need to put into try catch or I need to throw the exception. So let me add exception to method signature. Now I am going to run this script again. You can see browser has been launched. And here it is saying that Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. And this warning message for Google Chrome, you will see only when you try to launch the Chrome browser using any automated test software like Selenium. If you launch Google Chrome normally, you will not see this go to help and about Google Chrome. You can see it has launched the same version whatever I have installed on my machine. But now I am going to uninstall Chrome browser from my system. So you can see you just uninstalled Chrome. So if I rerun my script, what should happen this time? Will it launch the Chrome browser? And obviously we are expecting that it should not launch because browser is not installed on my machine. But let's try it and run the program. So this is magic. We can see Chrome browser is launched. And here now we have two warning messages. First one. Chrome for testing, this version is only for automated testing. For regular browsing, use a standard version of Chrome that updates automatically. And we have another warning message that was coming earlier as well. But now, how it is launching the Chrome browser when we don't have Chrome browser installed on my machine? So, there's no magic, but we have two versions of Google Chrome now. One is like for normal browsing whatever you use for daily purpose and second one we have dedicated browser for testing and the advantage of this second browser version is that you don't need to install it exclusively. Selenium will do everything for you. That means Selenium will download the browser for you if that normal browser is not present on your system. So we need to understand some basic points first before we explore it more. So Chrome browser for testing will be launched only when normal browser is not present in your system or if you want to run your test case on Chrome browser version X but you have installed Y on your system then in that case also Chrome browser for testing will be launched for that specified version because the version you want to run on that is not present on your machine. So default behavior will be Chrome for testing will be used by Selenium if the normal browser is not installed on your system or a specified version of that normal browser is not on your system. So if you want to work with normal browser always, make sure that you have installed the normal Chrome browser on your machine and if you are using any version then make sure that that version is also installed on your system. We can also use Chrome browser for testing all the times irrespective of whether normal browser is installed on your system or not for that we have to use Chrome options. This is really a good feature and this will be a great advantage when you want to run into any virtual machine or Docker based environment. Now you might be thinking if Selenium has downloaded the Chrome for testing then where it has downloaded. For that you need to go to your user profile and in that user profile you will have a folder .cast. and go inside this you will have Selenium then you see something called Chrome Windows 64 because I have the Windows 64 machine and here I have 118 version downloaded. I have not downloaded it. Selenium WebDriver did for us. And if you see here, 
this blue icon this is actually chrome for testing and if i double click on it you can see it has launched the chrome browser and if you don't believe that selenium downloaded this for us i am going to delete this folder from here and i will rerun the program folder has been deleted now i am going to run my script again so you can see chrome browser is launched again and if i go to my cache folder here you see and again one folder created selenium and inside it we have chrome and chrome driver downloaded and it always tries to download the latest stable one so now you might be thinking where i can find more information about google chrome for testing so this is the official blog where they have mentioned the need of chrome for testing the major reason they specify that by testing on a fixed version we can avoid flaky test but an application should be tested always on the latest version of browsers so that is up to you what you want to use it so again to recap if you want to work with normal chrome browser make sure that the normal chrome browser is installed on your system but sometimes you always want to work with google chrome for testing for that we need to download google chrome for testing on my machine but this will be applicable only if you have normal browser installed on your machine as well and you want to override the default behavior for that we need to go to the official website to download the google chrome for testing for that use selenium.dev and here go to downloads come down and here you will see one option called browsers go to chrome and here we have something the chrome for testing availability dashboard and here you will find which is the stable version which is upcoming versions and if you come down you can see for 118 you can see it is giving you the some link to download the chrome browser for some operating systems like windows 32 mac linux then again we have chrome drivers then we have some another files as well so if you want to override the default behavior make sure that you download the specific chrome version i am using windows 64 so copy this link and paste into another tab so it will start downloading the zip file for you you can see it is downloading open the file go inside it and here we have chrome application and i need to pass this chrome application recently to override the default behavior because we have already installed 118 normal chrome browser also for that let me copy this path and go to your program and we need to create an object of chrome options this is another class coming from selenium so use chrome options chrome options equal to new chrome options and here we have a method called set binary here i need to pass the path of the chrome application which is copied and the application name is chrome.exe and before i run this program i am going to install the normal chrome browser also so that you can understand the difference so i am going to quickly download the chrome and install on my system and now here you can see i have installed my normal google chrome as well now go to your program and let me comment chrome options as of now anyway it will be not applicable because i am not using chrome options anywhere if i run this program then it is going to open the normal chrome browser for us so here you can see we see only one warning message that means it has opened the normal chrome browser but i want to override this behavior means i want to open the chrome browser for testing so let me explicitly terminate the program and here i need to use chrome options which is another class in selenium and here i need to pass the binary binary means where is my chrome for testing application which i have downloaded here now this chrome option i need to pass into my chrome driver constructor and let me run this script now and this time it should open the chrome browser for testing not the normal browser and on the execution it's saying that we have some session not created exception and it's saying that could not start a new session response code 500 and if you see further it says that no chrome binary found at this location the reason of this we have not unzip this file so before we pass the binary path make sure that you unzip the actual file that means go to downloads again and unzip this file first so that click extract all so now extraction is completed 
and now go to actual folder and copy this path and pass it in the set binary method. Now let me rerun this program and I am expecting at least this time it should open Chrome for testing for me. So you can see two warning messages that means it has opened the Chrome for testing browser for me. And the same behavior I have observed for Firefox browser as well. If I search Firefox in my system, I will not see any Firefox browser installed on my system. But if I try to trigger Firefox browser from my script, let's see what happens. So I'm going to comment all these three lines and instead of Chrome driver, I'm going to use Firefox driver this time. Let me use the same object name so that there's no need to change it everywhere. New Firefox. And if I run this program, actually it is going to launch Firefox for me. But Firefox is not installed on my machine. So again, Selenium does it for us. So you can see Firefox has been launched. And if I go to my user directory and Selenium folder, you can see two new folders has been added. One is Firefox, one is Geekko driver. So Selenium again downloaded the Firefox browser for us. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.